Hello and welcome to Loving Tech Life. In this video, I'm gonna help you fix some issues where the PS5 controller either won't appear on the list of Bluetooth devices when you're trying to pair it with your PC, or you try to connect it and it refuses to pair. If this isn't your specific issue, then check the controller fix playlist on the card above. With that said, let's get into it. Before getting into the specific fixes, I'll share some basics that often solve connection issues. First, reset the controller. To do this, turn the controller around and find the small hole at the back. Use a small paper clip or something like that to press and hold the reset button inside for at least five seconds. Second, make sure it's fully charged. You don't know how many times someone has told me that they fixed their issue by charging the controller or they tried a different USB cable so it charged properly. Next, test the controller itself by pairing it to a mobile phone just in case it's the controller itself that's broken. Just remember to unpair or forget the controller when you're done. Now we're going to get the PC ready to pair to the controller by going to Bluetooth settings on your PC. To do this, go to the search bar and type Bluetooth and select Bluetooth and other device settings. Here, it's important to make sure Bluetooth is switched on. If your PC doesn't have Bluetooth or you think the Bluetooth in your PC is too old or faulty, you can add it with a USB dongle. I'll leave a link to the one I use in the description below. Now that you've confirmed that Bluetooth is switched on, you can now select Add device. Before selecting the Bluetooth option here, you'll put the controller into pairing mode. To do this, you need to hold both the Create and PlayStation buttons. A couple of tips here to avoid problems are to press and hold down the Create button first, and secondly, make sure you're holding both buttons down long enough to see the light start flashing like this. Now that the controller is ready to pair, you can click on the Bluetooth option and a list of devices will show up. This is where the first issue comes up for a lot of people. It searches for devices, but the PS5 controller does not appear. A device called DualSense Wireless Controller should show up here. At this point, there are a couple of things to try to fix the issue and get it to show up on the Add a Device list. The first fix is to run the Troubleshoot tool on Windows for Bluetooth. To do this on Windows 11, open Settings by typing Settings into the search bar and selecting it. Then choose System. Look down the list until you see Troubleshoot and select that then other troubleshooters, choose Bluetooth, a window will pop up and you'll need to scroll down and click yes to give consent to run automated diagnostics. From here, you need to follow the troubleshooting instructions. Depending on the issue, it may or may not find anything to fix. If it does find something, you can go ahead and try and pair the controller again. The second fix seems to work for even more people is as follows. We're going to check if the Bluetooth services are disabled or not running properly. You can check and enable them by pressing Windows R and you will see a small pop-up window there. Type services.msc. When you open services, look for Bluetooth support service and see if it's disabled and enable it or instead of manual, set it to automatic. Then repeat the pairing process and DualSense wireless controller should appear on the list. Select it and it will pair. The second issue that I personally came across recently was where I selected DualSense wireless controller from the list of devices and Windows refused to connect to it and just showed an error message. If you've used the controller with a PS5 console, then go back to the console and navigate to settings, accessories, Bluetooth accessories, and delete the controller you are using. I then went back to the PC and repeated the pairing process and selected DualSense wireless controller and this time it connected. This pairing step can take a bit of time if you haven't done it before, so wait patiently for it to connect. If you're asked for a pin number here while pairing the controller, just enter four zeros. Select done and now the PS5 controller appears as DualSense wireless controller in the list of input devices and it shows that it's connected. On the controller itself, it will stop flashing and the light will just be a solid color. Also, if you want to switch back to using the controller on the console at any time, just connect it with the USB cable and press the PlayStation button and it'll pair back up with the console. Go ahead and disconnect the cable and it'll work wirelessly. If you're still having issues, then check out the controller fix playlist on the card above. I'll also put a link to the playlist in the description below. I'll keep adding other controller fixes to the playlist, so be sure to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. And if this video helped you out, please go ahead and smash the like button below and I'll see you in the next one.